Wilson of the Beach Boys said of himself and the other Beach Boys, quote, we were doing witchcraft, trying to make witchcraft music, end quote. Is it possible that Brian Wilson, the so-called musical genius behind the Beach Boys music, was really being used by demonic forces like so many other rock stars? In terms akin to classical demonic possession, Rolling Stone magazine reported to Wilson, quote, Brian Wilson hears voices. They talk to him. They distract him, frighten him, confuse him. Right now, as the creative genius behind the Beach Boys' classic surf rock sound, sits for an interview in his darkened living room, the Pacific crashing loudly outside his million-dollar home. The voices are calling. His eyes roll toward the ceiling. They've gone blank. His brow is furrowed with thick worry lines. He is silent. Gone. Rolling Stone magazine went on to report, quote, he looks up, jerks his head back and forth for a few seconds as it physically shaking away the voices. I wish they all could be Warner Brothers Records president Larry Warnker claims to have encountered at least five different entities that use Brian Wilson's body as their home. He said, quote, there are a lot of different people there, says Warnker. Quote, I've met five different people, end quote. It is apparent that Brian Wilson received many incredible songs from the spirit beings that have possessed him. There's like this message that they're getting that nobody else tunes into. Some frequency that, you know, we're just not able to tune into that they hear. Does it ever get annoying, like when you're trying to go to sleep, like, shut up? Yeah, I have that all the time. Really? <laughs> uh, please stop. In my room. Wilson, who opened himself up to many demonic forces, stated, quote, We were doing witchcraft. I got a little too much into this tape called Fire. Then a place down the street burned down the same day we did the song. Wilson simply communicated music the evil spirits were giving to him through the Beach Boys. Rock journalist Nick Kent wrote of these voices inside his head. They weren't saying anything too distinct yet, just making this dark, ghostly murmuring sound back there in the lower recesses of his brain. He stated, quote, at one session for heroes and villains, he tried to capture this latest ghoulish sound, taking up squatter's rights in his head. It was the scariest sound of anything he'd created for Smile. But it wasn't as scary as the voices in his head were starting to insinuate. When Wilson felt uninspired, he would state, quote, I can't sing. I can't get those voices anymore. These demonic beings that would once use Wilson as a puppet would later ridicule him by stating, quote, you're going to get it, you mother blank. All the voices in his head now interrupting his thoughts, forever muttering, quote, you're finished, you're washed up, you've lost the plot, blank, and you've lost your mind. You played with God and messed with forces that can only destroy you. These demonic beings, however, were not the only satanic forces that the Beach Boys were being influenced by. The Beach Boys were also influenced by the music of none other than Charles Manson. Because when I fell out of this penitentiary and I was playing my music, you, Neil Diamond, Buffalo Springfield, and Beach Boys, all of them guys came to me. They copied and stole from me and took it down and put it in whatever they did. You dig? Dennis Wilson of the Beach Boys allowed Charles Manson and his family to live with him in his mansion. Wilson said his friend Charles Manson was like the devil, and Wilson called him the wizard. Dennis Wilson said, quote, The wizard is Charlie Manson, who is a friend of mine, who thinks he is God and the devil. He sings, plays, and writes poetry, and may be another artist for Brother Records. Dennis Wilson gave Charles Manson one of his gold records that Manson used to barter to get onto a ranch that would be used for a while as the Manson family headquarters. The Beach Boys actually covered Charles Manson's song called Cease to Exist and changed the words to Cease to Resist. They ended up putting this song on their 2020 album and called it Never Learn Not to Love. The Beach Boys' so-called never-ending summer was really a journey to the depths of Satan's heart. The Beach Boys took the Maharishi Mahesh Yogi on tour with them to give veritable lectures wherein he was given a platform to initiate the masses into Eastern mysticism. While Brian Wilson didn't know how to surf, Dennis Wilson, the only surfer of the bunch, would end up drowning drunk at sea. 